एवरीवन दिस इज के आनंद गौ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मटेरियल टेस्टिंग एंड इवैल्यूएशन ओके सो इन बिफोर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द मटेरियल टेस्टिंग एंड इवैल्यूएशन एंड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस सब्जेक्ट ओके दैट इज व्हाट इंपॉर्टेंट व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न एनी न्यू सब्जेक्ट सो वी आर कमिंग टू आवर डिपार्टमेंट सो इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस डिपार्टमेंट इज to construct structures right so like that in in, in every engineering field we will be having some outputs like if you take uh, mechanical engineering so they they are going to manufacture machines right so here in this uh, civil engineering field we are going to construct structures so before going to construct ultimate structures if we are going to assemble the building components in a particular manner so based upon that arrangement of building components different building components the ultimate structure will be um, constructed right so so this is the structure we are going to construct and before that we are going to create some individual components building components so these are the different types of building components this is column okay and this is slab and this is the beam okay so these are the some of the individual building components by arranging these building components in a proper manner okay so now we are going to get the ultimate structure right and before going to manufacture or else before going to cast these individual components like columns beams and slabs before that we have to know about the materials whatever the field if you take machines in mechanical engineering there before manufacturing any machine we have to know about the properties of materials based upon the properties of materials we are going to use that particular material in a particular function right so depending upon that individual material property we can use the material in a particular function depending depending upon our requirement or else depending upon the structure type right so that is why whenever you are going to manufacture any object or else any structure any structure then we have to know about the building components and before going to cast our building components we have to know about the materials building materials it may be brick cement concrete sand reinforcement glass plastic wood and tiles okay these are the some of the building materials we are going to use in a construction right so we have to know about these materials clear right properties classification and applications okay depending upon these all properties we can use in a particular function so this is the sequence that is why we are going to learn about the building materials okay so now coming to this subject so here we are going to discuss about the issues related to material selection okay whenever you are going to select any material what is the issue we are going to get okay like if you use any material in a kitchen or if you suffer take suppose if you take um, kitchen okay in kitchen we have to use some water absorb i mean water resistant materials so right if you use any material which is related to absorbed water i mean water absorbed materials then that will be affecting the function of the particular room right suppose if you take uh, any flooring okay flooring of any building okay so there we have to choose the material which is going to resist the loads okay so that is why depending upon our function it where where you are going to use that particular material okay and what is the issue we are going to get what is the problem related to particular material okay that we are going to know about the i mean know in this particular sub, uh, subject okay and next one understanding the behavior of materials okay when you apply any load on the material how it is behaving under loads okay so we will be having different types of behaviors like physical properties we are going to observe and mechanical properties so here by combining these two okay without applying the loads and with applying the loads how the material is going to behave okay that also we are going to learn in this particular subject and next one particularly structure property correlation okay so depending upon the construction of structure what is the structure we are going to learn it may be residential or it may be commercial okay so like that we will be having different types of structures right so depending upon the structure we are going to use the material like uh, by correlating the properties of materials okay we cannot use all the structures in a all structure i mean all the materials in all the structures right so that is why structure to property correlation is also very very important okay that is also we are going to learn in this subject okay so if you know these three points these three factors like uh, issues related to material selection and understanding the behavior of materials if you know the behavior of materials and 
स्ट्रक्चर प्रॉपर्टी को रिलेशन सो आफ्टर लर्निंग अबाउट दीज थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू अचीव वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अल्टीमेटली सो दट इज सो दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉलेज अबाउट दीज पर्टिकुलर थ्री फैक्टर्स विल बी गोइंग टू हेल्प इन ए सिलेक्शन ऑफ सुटेबल मेटीरियल फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन ओके आफ्टर लर्निंग अबाउट दीज थ्री फैक्टर्स वी आर गोइंग टू चूज द सुटेबल मेटीरियल फॉर द पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन ओके ऑन पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर okay that is what the first uh, goal of this particular subject and next the knowledge acquired lays a good foundation okay so the knowledge whatever the knowledge you are going to get from this subject that is going to lay good foundation for analysis okay and design of various civil engineering structures systems are in a reliable manner okay so the, whatever the knowledge knowledge you are going to get through these particular factors will be going to lay the foundation for the design and analysis of various civil engineering structures okay so this is about the introduction part of your materials testing and evaluation okay so next again in this subject majorly we are going to focus on these three points more so first one is materials okay the first one is materials in materials we are going to learn about the composition of different materials okay composition what are the chemical composition um, present in the materials and next properties okay properties of different materials how it is behaving okay and next classification okay what is the classification based upon the properties and composition we are going to classify the materials into different fact different uh, categories so that is also very very important and then after learning about the composition properties and classification now we are going to discuss about the applications of these materials okay after categorizing the material where we have to use these particular materials okay that is also very very important and that also we are going to learn in this particular subject okay next the second factor is mechanical behavior of materials okay so in this we are going to learn about some of the mechanical behaviors mechanical properties of some metals okay some materials okay we are not going to learn about all the materials but we are mainly focusing on metals okay like mild steel and next special materials okay special materials like cementitious materials fly ash okay cementitious materials are nothing but the materials which are having the properties of same cement okay so whatever the materials which are having the same properties of cement those materials are called as a cementitious materials so some of the examples for these cementitious materials are um, fly ash okay and next silica fuel and ggbs okay so these are the cementitious materials we are going to learn in about these particular materials what is i mean these materials all will be coming under special materials and along with this we are going to learn about the composites also okay this is the outline of the subject so this is the syllabus which is covered in this particular subject thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates